But remember my face it used to be like this. It's just me, my belly. One full squeeze and hold and I would even night. I'm skirting. Good morning. It's Saturday and today we have breastfeeding class. So I decided I'm gonna vlog. Uh, I just uh, I think I will be able to just to have some footage from the actual class, but we will see. I hope it's not as terrifying as I think it is, and I hope we will learn, you know, good things. So first I'm gonna talk. Okay. Yeah, of so course. get those fingers wrapped right yes on the, the ear right around the baby's ear the baby doesn't care okay. good now and then so, I push the bum yeah good and drop the baby down down your body to where your nipple mm -hmm. naturally lies good now don't move the breast mm -hmm. let the breast sit where it naturally does mm -hmm. the baby reaches and you don't push the nose in, you drive the chin in deep. Yeah. So Deep. Good. Better. And then, and then your hand way far back and squeeze to keep the baby drinking. When the one's done, uh, the finger in the mouth. I would use your big finger, your first oh, finger. This one. Stronger. Yeah. Put and it in. Should, press down. down on the jaw till you feel the pressure released. And then, yeah, try the other side. So it was a very interesting class, very good teacher. It's at North York General. Uh, I will link it down below if you live in Toronto. We learned a lot. And uh, you just saw a footage of me trying to, to watch a baby. Uh, I filmed it because honestly during the class I was like, I think I, I think I got it, I think I got it. Uh, and then I, I did it with a, you know, with a doll and uh, i was a little bit nervous to forget it i feel a little bit more confident in breastfeeding right now but anyway i think it's like it's uh, it's a huge work and uh, the teacher said that some women say that it's even worse than labor so i hope i won't have that experience i hope it's going to be easy and i'll have you know like all the supplies and everything i think it's a girl Okay, so you think it's a girl? Yeah, I think is. it's a boy. I uh, it's think it's nothing. It's not moving at all. Guys, <laughs> okay. it's not just moving at all. Happy for what, for what it's just, it's it's just calm, baby. Whoa. Okay, what, what is it doing? No, it's not doing anything. Lie on your back and have your partner or friend dangle the thread over your baby bump, allowing it to move in whatever motion comes. I think maybe like drop it down. Yeah, you have to like. Yeah, what? like. Uh, no, like, no, like, no. Pick up the ring <laughs> and then leave, and leave it. Leave it, like. So that it so yeah. finds its motion, weight. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like this? Oh, no, no like, pick hold up the, the, hold the ring and then ah. let it go. Yeah. Yeah. And then let it go. Yeah. It's yeah. Just okay. Leave it. Just, yeah. 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 That's a pendulum motion right there. Oh, we. Oh, oh boy. So that changed. Back and no, forth. No, but it's going like like back and forth. So back, 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 back and forth or in it's circle? Going back and forth. Back and forth. So it, it means boy? Boy. 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 That's what it means. That's what it means with okay. the thread. Okay. So we'll, Science. We'll <laughs> Hard This fact. is for sure. This is like Hard. Science. Hard percent. Good morning. We are on our way to go to see uh, strollers. We have like five weeks before baby comes, but four or five weeks before baby comes. So we decided we're gonna go in and, and just like see in person how the stroller looks like. And then once Black Friday comes, we actually gonna buy it. Um, I'm just debating between two colors. I know the model I'm gonna get. I want Upa Baby Vista. And I'm just not sure if I want light gray or, or just gray. So my face is so puffy. Like it's so swollen all the time. Not all the time. But lately, like the past, I guess, week, my face and like my, my, my fingers as well, they puffy. <laughs> So today I'm at home and today I'm editing a vlog. Next video you're gonna see. So it's just me, my belly, my laptop. We just uh, editing.
nothing really really exciting happening today i mean i put makeup guys that's exciting i did nails not today but they very very fresh mostly i put makeup on this face <laughs> i'm not going anywhere today so that's impressive at least it's impressive for me i'm just by myself and i'm wearing a makeup Today I have week 36 doctor appointment and starting from this week uh, the appointment is going to be every week which is uh, exciting because you know I'm getting close to a due date but at the same time every week I'm going to drive for an hour and uh, usually my appointment is like 15 minutes long maximum the doctor just touches the belly, measures the belly, asks me questions if I have any concerns or you know like pains or uh, things like that and I usually don't have anything. Oh and also they wait me every time and they, they check my blood pressure. <laughs> Probably the, mo the, ner the most nervous part of this the weight, checking my weight. Sometimes it's good, sometimes I don't gain a lot, sometimes it's a little bit embarrassing. So I hope today it's not going to be embarrassing at all. Also, I have my tea. I start drinking raspberry leaf tea. Uh, it's, it's known to, you know, to prep your body for labor and induce labor and the, all those great stuff. I put uh, ginger, turmeric, uh, raspberry leaf tea honey and a squeezed lemon and it's so yummy i love it so much i can drink it like basically the whole day and today we have our friend uh, daughter and birthday party she's turning three so this is my outfit for the event my absolute favorite set by uniqlo it's a skirt i showed you and then it's a sweater, I just tucked it in, and majority pendant. So I'm just gonna add shoes, puffer jacket, and I'm ready to go. I don't have the best hair today, but I think it's gonna work. Like my, my, my face is a little bit puffy these days, so I feel like there is there is no hairstyle that actually um, complements my, my face right now. So I just, I just, that's, that's what it's gonna be for the next few weeks. Till baby comes. Remember my face used to be like this. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so puffy. First, we need to get actual gift. I'm gonna be super honest and not the best with gifts. So I just texted her mom and I asked what exactly she did get. to film my night time scare routine so I have a little bit of makeup on just like a tiny bit of concealer so first obviously is I'm washing my face and I'm using this one right now it's by uh, fresh and I love it it's so good I actually put it on dry skin just rub it and this particular one is is good for taking off makeup as well so I don't use any like makeup remover uh, and again mostly because I don't really use any foundation so I don't need heavy makeup remover. Second what I do, I don't do it every day, I only do it twice a week. A scrub by Le Hendrickson. Le Hendrickson. I used to use like, chemical peels but because I'm pregnant right now like it's not very good to use chemical peels and I still want to remove you know the dead skin so I'm using mechanical scrub once twice a week. Whenever I feel like I need a little bit of exfoliation, I put it on. And every time when I have scrub, I always do my mask. I think it's the best time. So mask absorbs actually. And then I have a new mask. 
this brand sent it to me uh, like a week ago. It's um, a straw and pink clear mask. It's detoxifying and brightening by Ella, Ella Skin. So <laughs> I'm trying it today the first time. Well, brightening is definitely good for me because like I have all the scars. Definitely like anything with brightening, I need it. Okay, so it's very easy to just apply it on the face. Yeah, it doesn't say the skin should be wet or dry. I guess dry. Mm, it smells really yummy. And it says to put it for 10 minutes. I like clay masks. I feel like they're really detoxifying skin. So this mask is actually cruelty free and vegan. Okay, so 10 minutes passed. It's not completely dry, but I guess it's fine. I'm gonna take it off because I wanna go to sleep. Um, so we took it off and I actually like how my skin feels. It's super soft and I feel like pores closed. And I have kind of like large pores, so I actually like to use something that closes pores. And then next step is I'm gonna apply niacinamide. I can't pronounce all this. Smart words. So I'm putting this one. I like it, it helps with scarring. Wait, once I'm in love, I really wanna do chemical peel or maybe micro needle and like something take off all the scars. Like it's crazy. Okay, next step is uh, just the eye cream by Oli Hendrickson, the same as my scrub. Banana brightening eye cream. I had it before and I like it. It's actually my second bottle. And then I put another serum. This one is True Serum also by Oli Hendrix and it's with collagen and True Vitamin C complex. So just one pump and just like tap it. Then I still use the same cream. I don't know if I showed you or not. I use this cream by Sisley. I was gifted this one like a half a year ago probably and uh, since that time I only use this cream. I love it. It's so good. It's rich but it doesn't make my skin oily. Yeah, you can like pinch a little bit. You can do everything to bring blood to your problematic areas from your cheeks. So. And the rest I just put on my neck. And then the same, I do this so, so I don't have double chin. Okay, that's it. Just hand cream. And I'm ready to go to bed.